All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 31. And in this lesson, we're going to be solving take from with the change unknown style of subtraction problems. And we're going to be using math stories to model problems that really would be uh, like 7 minus what equals 5. But the students are really going to write down the subtraction problem 7 minus 5 equals what? And we're going to use subtraction to find that unknown change. And it's going to involve that little twist. Instead of 7 minus blank equals 5, the students are going to be writing down the number sentence 7 minus 5 equals blank. Uh, let's get started. I think you'll understand once we get going. So Anne has a box of eight markers. Some fell on the floor, so there's our missing unknown, our change that's unknown. Now six are still in the box. How many markers fell on the floor? So the first thing we're going to do is we've been asked to model by drawing. So we're going to start by modeling those eight markers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're told some fall on the floor, and we don't know how many fall on the floor, but we know that six are still in the box. So we are going to circle six that are still in the box. And so that's going to look like this. And then it says how many markers fell on the floor. So these remaining two are the ones that fell off the floor, and we're asked to cross those off. So what would our number bond over here look like? Well, we know 8 is our whole, and we know that 6 are still in the box, and we, what fell on the floor? We know it's 2. So there is our number bond. And we know how many markers fell on the floor? Well, we know already it's two. What would our number sentence be? Our number sentence would be eight minus six equals two. Now, parents and teachers, it's important to know that if we were to model exactly as this problem was written, it would look like eight minus box equals six because you have eight markers, some fell on the floor, six are still in the box. But we want our students, our little first graders, to be solving it like eight minus six is equal to, to the box. So we're going to find that unknown through subtraction. So a dog has eight bones, he hides some, and he still has five bones. How many bones are hidden? So if we're going to model this, we would start by modeling those eight bones. And again, teachers, I want you to notice I've laid this out in that 10 frame style so that we are uh, letting students constantly see that 10 frame. Now he hides some. We don't know how many he hides, but he still has five. So I'm going to circle the part that we know and I did not mean to make it so thick there. And how many bones are hidden? So these leftovers right here are what he has hidden. And so that's the part that we're going to cross off. So our number bond is going to be 8, 5, and 3. Our number sentence is going to be 8 bones. He still has 5. That means he must have hidden three. So three bones are hidden. And once again, I'm just going to kind of belabor the point a little bit. Explicitly, the number sentence would be eight minus blank equals five. That's the subtraction with the change unknown. But we're not going to write it that way. We want our students to write it as eight minus five equals the box. One last problem. We've got Ron. He has 10 sticks of gum. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He gives one stick to each of his friends. Now he has three sticks of gum left over. So how many friends did Ron share with? Well, we know we've got the 10 because that's what our, our dots here are. We can't show how many 
sticks he gave away, because we don't know that number yet. But he does have three sticks of gum left over. So I'm going to circle three sticks of gum that are left over. That means these are all the sticks of gum that he gave away. And that's the stuff that we're going to cross off. And we see that we crossed off seven. So he shared with seven friends. I'm kind of going out of order, aren't I? A little bit. And that's okay, too. So our number bond, 10, is our whole. Three is the part that we know. And seven is the part that we needed to figure out. And so the number sentence right here would be 10 take away 3 equals 7. And that wraps up first grade module 1 lesson 31 where we are taking taking from with a change unknown so that'd be 8 like 8 minus blank is equal to 5 and we are using subtraction to figure out what that unknown is.